Last episode, we spent a whole lot of time out in the hills and the nether to try and find a shiny Charmander. And while we didn't quite come across one, we did get a whole bunch of other shinies to add to our collection. But this episode, I want to do something different. I want to build. Guys, I am a builder at heart and it feels like forever since we actually did some building here on the Battlecraft server. So today, we are finally taking on the project of starting our city. Now, if we take a walk here into our house, I have a couple of things set up here on the side. I want our city to be full of color. Now, I'm not sure we're gonna actually use these build palettes, but I wanted to set out a few just to see if, you know, maybe something sparks some interest. I have this vision in my head, and now it's just a matter of setting it all together and getting it put into our world. Let's do a little bit of testing here just to see kind of where we want this. We can, to a certain extent, just follow along with the shoreline, but I do think we're gonna need to do a little bit of cutting down so this is a little steeper and not so flat. I don't like that. But I'm thinking tough. Uh, tough might be the block to go. I honestly, I have no idea. We're gonna find out. But kind of what I'm thinking, you know what? We're just gonna have to place something down and we'll move it if we need to. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I want this to be raised up. So six, maybe? How much is this above the water? One, uh, two, three, four. Uh, let's continue on here. If we were to take some of uh, this, we're just gonna go for a very like uh, simple pattern. Okay, this is very simple and maybe we need something fancier than just this. I like the archway. I think the archways are always nice to have uh, in these type of builds, but I'm also kind of liking this block down bottom and I want to see what it would look like. Like we're gonna be looking at this a lot. This is gonna be the picture. So I think that could work. I want to just try and switch the outside block. I'm not sure I'm liking the cracked variant. I think we're just going to go with the tough bricks. I think that's going to be the best one and the simplest. Like you don't want too busy. And I think with using the coral here in the back, it's going to get too busy. And now it's just a matter of, well, getting a whole lot more brain coral than I actually have right now. We have made some really epic progress. Look at this, guys. We got a full seawall all the way along this side, and it even extends around the corner over there. It is going to look so amazing once we get the road in on that side and, of course, all of the buildings facing. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so excited for all of this. But I don't really want to extend it any further until we start putting in the road and putting in the buildings. I just think we're going to want to at least see how this is fitting in before we figure out what direction we want to go and how far along we want the seawall. We are going to need to put in the roads on the side and I want to make sure that they're wide enough that we don't need to feel like they're super tight to fit in cars or carts or anything else. And of course, we're going to have to remove these trees and start leveling off the rest of the place here so that we can get our buildings in. But progress has been made and I'm super happy to see it. So I have spent a little bit of time trying to lay out some buildings to start our city. And I think I like the height. I'm not entirely sure. We just have obviously the shapes going on here. We're gonna have to build them up and detail them and the like, and they are definitely probably not gonna be that color. But I think it's gonna work because like this is gonna be a city. So we're going to have houses along the wharf side here. But we're also going to have houses in the back and more streets. So I think we need to keep these ones like not super tall because then you'll hide all of the ones behind. But you still want a little bit of height. Maybe this will work. We'll have to, I guess, you know, start building and see what comes out of it.
building one has been built and it is looking really cute. I might have to reposition a few things, like maybe lift up this uh, window down here just a little bit. I don't know, we might have to shift some stuff around for the detailing, but as for the color, I think it looks kind of cool having the red mangrove merge into the pink of the cherry wood and into the white terracotta. And now I want to build another one with the blocks that I have in my inventory. Two buildings down and this is looking really cute. We got definitely some, you know, different colors going on. I'm trying to do a little bit different colors for the roofs as well, so it's not all of the same. Definitely still need a whole lot of details. There's not enough details on these buildings, but I'm liking how it's going and I'm liking the colors. I am loving this process. Oh my goodness. You got the kind of yellowish white house over here with the dark roof. You got the pink, red, the purple, and now the green with the white roof. Oh my goodness. I am, I'm loving this. This is coming together exactly how I've pictured it in my head. Got another house over there to do. And you know what? Uh, we'll see. I, I don't know. It's kind of late at night right now. It's like, you know, almost 11 o'clock here, but I'm just having so much fun designing up these houses. We'll see how far we go. Who knows? Maybe there'll be more than five. It is a new day for me. And coming back to our beautiful buildings here, I decided to make a couple of changes. Mostly I did not like the two deep slate side by side for the roof. So I exchanged this one deep slate over here for the dragon wood. And I do think it works out nicely. It ties in with the rest of the details of the building. So happy we made that change. And I also did switch out the diorite that I had on this building for its roof to the birch so it matched with the other details and I raised that window just a little bit. But that brings us to the final building that we are gonna be putting into this section. And I have finally gotten my build palette all ready to go. It's gonna be beautiful and yellow just like this. So I need to wait for a few more pumpkins, but other than that, I'm ready to get building. Well, now that we have all five of the townhouses built up, I have done a little bit of detailing changes. So you can see the purple house right there we have added in a little bit of an overhang just to give it some more 3D and depth uh, than the rest of these buildings. That's the only one that I really did do any fancy detailing with. There's of course a whole lot more that we need to do on the other four buildings. I have one complaint. I don't like the yellow house beside the green house. I thought I did it first, but it's just, it's not jiving well with me. So I do think we're gonna make some changes. I'm not sure if I want to just remove the yellow part or if it's just the orange that I don't like of the acacia wood, but it needs to go and we need to figure out a new color to put there so it doesn't, you know, maybe wash it out so much. But in case you were missing all of my fun Pokemon catches in this episode, check out this next clip. Ooh, is that a shiny that I see? Uh. Is he underneath? He is. Look at that. We got a couple of Ratatats, but hey, I mean, we'll take Raticate. Maybe with some encouragement. Got him. 
It needed to be darker. The yellow beside the green was just not working out, but adding in the darker purpley color, I like it. I like it a whole lot better. But it does need a few fixes, as do the other buildings. I do definitely need to get some more details in there, so I'm gonna work at that, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit when I got those details going. I might have gotten a little bit carried away with detailing, and yeah, we got a lot of progress done. I even ended up putting in a little bit of a wall here on the side of fencing so that, you know, it doesn't feel like you're going to fall right out. Plus, it adds in the light necessary to keep that whole path spawn proof. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful it is. Now, unfortunately, we have vine growth turned on on the server, which means these vines that I have on this house keep growing on me, and I don't love that. So I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to convince the rest of the server members that we can turn the vine growth off, and we could actually have some of these vines uh, laid out here and not have them go wild, because I think the little blue of the chipped vines looks really nice on this house. And these little flower boxes, they are so cute when you actually put the flowers in them. I really like that. Now, I don't have any interiors done. Honestly, it's kind of gross and ugly in there. But you know what? That's going to come with time. I like this dragon wood house. I think there's a lot of detail on this one, and I really do like it. And the fact that I could get the dragon tree leaves in there too just adds a whole lot to it. And then of course we have this house. Most of it was already done, like I already had this kind of porch thing set up, but I did decide to actually put in a porch that you could walk up here and just sit and look if you really wanted to. And of course I switched out the windows to have a little bit of the scaffolding blocks. I don't know, I kind of like that look to have as a window, so I thought why not, let's try it in this building. And then we got our green building. There maybe could be a little bit more detail down here, but we used white windows and had the same kind of like punched out look that we did for the Dragonwood building. You know, it really just fits in with the vibe and adds in more detail with some hanging plant life. And it just adds in that little extra detail with the hanging plant life and the leaf blocks. And finally, we have this house on the end that I switched from the yellow color into the lovely purple terracotta and this crimson, stripped crimson logs. I like the darker color, definitely works a whole lot better beside that greenhouse and having this color of the umbrella tree wood looks so nice. And can you just imagine what will happen once we get maybe some details on this road, whether it's like a cart going back and forth or a fountain here in the center where people can just, you know, meander, maybe sit on a seat or something like that and overlook the ocean. Oh my goodness, this is going to look gorgeous. Plus, we definitely are going to have to finish off this corner and get some actual boats in the ocean over there and a pier that people can walk down on. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.